What's up guys and welcome to this quick review of every new egg and level up move we have for all those Pokemons in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So we have like over 100 Pokemon that have uh, been buffed by uh, some with some new moves. Some have like very good new moves and some have very terrible new moves that won't ever get used. <laughs> so we're going to check out what are the options. So in green are the moves that I think could have a competitive usage. In uh, orange are the moves that were uh, available um, via TM in previous generations. So that's pretty much just a power-up punch. Um, and the other ones in uh, green, I think, uh, the, the, the ones in pink, sorry, are the uh, terrains. So that could uh, maybe be somewhat useful. Uh, because there's not a lot of Pokemon that set up terrains. Like with every new game, uh, they seem to add a little bit. Because like there were some, uh, there were some in Gen Six, and then there were a lot of new ones in Gen with uh, Sun and Moon, and then we had we had some other new ones in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So whoops, I just realized something, and I'm just gonna, oh, Mr. Mime. All right, so we're gonna start right here with Sanshu Home Claws. Um, with the fact that it gets um, Iron Tail, uh, I think could be useful for Alolan Senshu. I don't know if those things also consider the Alolan forms. I would think so. Um, but anyways, if they get uh, Home Claws for Alolan Senshu, and that could be a very good egg move to breed for. Oddish gets Strength Stabbed. I think it's very good. Same thing for Bellsprout, there's also a Hoppip that gets it, and I think there was another one. Uh, that's, no, that's it. So Strength Sap, very good move for those uh, few Pokemon that get it. Um, you got those terrains, Paris, Abra, Drowsy, Mr. Mime, Gir Girafferig, um, Cherubi, Cherubi. <laughs> uh, I don't think that will uh, make him go up in usage anyways. Uh, Mime Jr., uh, Swaddle, Cotney, uh, Fennekin, Skiddo are the ones that get some new terrain moves. So that's pretty good. Um, high horsepower for Ponita. It didn't have access to Earthquake, so that's at least a very good uh, ground type move. It's better than Drill Run, in my opinion, for Rapidash. Uh, Farfetch gets first impression. Not too bad at all, I think. Uh, it won't make him go up in usage, but for teams that lack a little bit of a, like low tier teams that lack a little bit of a priority, maybe Farfetch can get some like rare kills every now and then with that move. Um, Rhymer, as I said, gets power up punch now to uh, breeding instead of TM in Gen 6. Onyx get, gets wide guard, maybe useful like once in a while for Steelix and doubles. Uh, Drowsy gets power split. I don't think that's so good. We're gonna skip the ones in white because like there's very rare chances that they will be used. Like maybe wake up slap for something like a spore or sleep powder tangela, whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, Cubone gets curse. So let's say for like regular Cubone, regular Marowak, that could be a very good way to boost their uh, their defenses and attack. And since they're very slow, there's not much point in uh, like keeping their speed. Uh, they can actually get, uh, they, they can spare it. Uh, Trash, very good stab move for Lickitung here. Um, I talked about Wake Up Slap maybe once in a while. It could be useful in like rarely, like the WBE, like fun leagues could be cool. Uh, Power Up Punch, I talked about it. Hoot Hoot and um, its evolution, what's it called? Noctowl, get Hurricane now. It had um, Moonblast in the previous games. Now it gets Hurricane, and maybe me look for some rare uh, in-game uh, occasions, like let's say you find a shiny uh, that can use Teleport or whatever. That's another Pokemon that can be useful. A Spin Rat gets Lunge. It's good, but the fact that uh, there is Leech Life that pretty much does the same damage, um, I don't think it will be that much of a, of a useful move for Spin Rat and Ariados. Talked about Strength Stat. Apalm, about time it gets uh, something like Tail Slap. Um, I think it has the kill link for an ability. Is, if I'm wrong, just correct me. Um, 
So maybe Apom and Ambipom can use that. Uh, Murkrow with Punishment. Punishment is a move that deals some pretty good damage. Uh, well, it deals more damage to Pokemon that have set up. So let's say they're at plus two. Uh, it will be a base 100 move. Like in any stat, it's base 60 plus 20 per boost. So uh, Murkrow and Punchrow can use that. Psychic Fangs is going to be good for Girafarig because like, it's not too bad physically. It's got moves like Crunch. It's got moves like, I think, uh, well, it has access to Return, which is reliable. I think it has Double Edge, etc. And its attack is not that terrible. So maybe running a physical set with Psychic Fangs instead of Zen Headbutt, to it, uh, which I think it gets, it can be more useful because it breaks screens. Delibird Counter, okay. Uh, Fan P, High Horse Power not that useful in my opinion because it's got earthquake which is better um but maybe just for the fun of having a new move maybe you could breed that and for like lower levels whatever zigzagoon gets in extreme uh, extreme speed uh Linun already had it but now uh zigzagoon has it um so maybe good for a little cup which <laughs> which surprised me anyways uh whisper gets whirlwind i don't dislike it um it could be useful, I guess. Um, I will power punch. I don't know for Plusle, really. I think that's that doesn't help that much. Um, yeah. Uh, Volbeat now gets lunge. Okay, not too bad. I mean, for some offensive sets. I really like Aromatherapy on Illumise, though, because it gets Prankster. So maybe uh, it can save you a turn or uh, like... Maybe if you're slower than your opponent, at least you're, you're going to be sure to get Aromatherapy off before you get killed because Ilmise doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't stand long instead of in front of like 60% of the Pokemon in the meta. Um, Roselia, I really like Power Rip for this evolution line because it gets access to Swords Dance, which is something that um, you barely ever see, uh, Swords Dance Rose Raid. But when you uh, think about it it's not that bad at all i really like heavy slam for normal and camera because um here is the reason mega camera weighs 320 kilograms so that's going to be a very good move um for some like very specific missions if you want to say but anyways it has access to flash cannon which is boosted by sheer force maybe a little better um yeah, so like for very specific missions, a heavy slam could be good. Uh, Swablu, this is very, very good because Altaria um, didn't have much uh, for like physical moves for its uh, mega form. Well, it could have access to return, but then again, like everybody would uh, predict it. But uh, you can also put uh, Play Rough, which has a chance to lower the opponent's uh, attack, I think. Which is very good. Zangu's belly drum. Yeah, okay, I get it. Not too bad. Um, instead of like using protect, which everybody uses to uh, get the toxic uh, toxic boost off, maybe you can use del belly drum, and other people will like your opponent will think you're gonna use protect, but then you surprise him with belly drum, and you, he's like, oh, okay, what happened? And then you can quick attack, sweep the rest of his team. Tropius gets Dragon Hammer. I like it because it's a Dragon Dancer. Maybe like for uh, low tiers, it can be good. Uh, Chime Echo gets Bear Song. I like that a lot. Um, Torterra with Heavy Slam. Once again, very good move here. But with that weight of 310 kilograms, it can be useful. Um, Chinchar Power Up Punch. Piplup gets Power Trip. And this is where it gets interesting because um, Hidden Ability and Polion is a defense. I think, or is it um, justified? I don't remember. Hold on, I'm gonna go and find out. Give me a second here. I kind of forgot. Like I, I checked before I started this video, but let me just go and see. I'm totally on is uh, defiant. So yeah, that means when you. Uh, let's say you enter on a uh, when you get intimidated or you enter on a sticky webs or whatever that means your attack is going to go up 
And Power Trip is pretty much the physical counterpart to uh, uh, what's it called? Stored Power. So it's a dark type move, I think. Uh, power Trip. Trip. It's a dark type move, so maybe it could be good for like, uh, I don't know, instead of like um, some other physical move that uh, Empoleon gets, gets like Waterfall, Earthquake, Drill Pack. Stuff like that that's another good move it can use with that um defiant set which i don't dislike a, at all like i think it's it could be good for like uh, gimmicky strategies whatever uh this is like the most broken boost guys uh bidoof gets mud sport i think it's just like pokemon keep uh making fun of bidoof because it fucking sucks um parachirizu gets baby lol eyes it's still more useful than mud sport uh, Weasel gets Helping Hand. Um, I haven't seen much of Weasel and Floatzel in doubles, but still, not too bad. Uh, those terrains, Power Up Punch. Spiritum gets Disabled. That's going to be super annoying to play against. <laughs> oh my god, I hate playing against Spiritum. Okay, one of the biggest boosts in this game is Riolu with Meteor Mash, because um, for physical mm, Steel-type moves, um, Lucario pretty much had to um, rely on Iron Tail if it wanted to dish out uh, maximum damage. Because um, let's just go see here. Um, okay, let's see in Sun and Move. Uh, sun and Move. Sun and Moon. Uh, Lucario gets Metal Claw. It gets Flash Cannon. It gets Bullet Punch. That's pretty much it for Steel moves. Let's see if we're gonna if we're gonna go for Auras. It had access to Bullet Punch. Uh, had, like yeah it had access to iron tail it didn't have access to iron head but now it gets access to a meteor mash which is gonna pretty much break Luca mega lucario because of adaptability there's not a lot of stuff that resists steel so um yeah i really like um what it brings to the table for a pokemon that's already in ubers so um get ready for those uh clutch attack boosts and uh yeah lucario can pretty much wreak havoc even more now. Uh, acid spray for Carnivine, nobody uses Carnivine, nobody uses Finneon. Burn up for Tepig, I like that, um, because after that it doesn't have any weakness and that means, well, Burn up can be useful twice because of Z moves. So you use uh, Inferno Overdrive and then you can use Burn up, so that means uh, you're gonna dish out a lot of damage with Inferno Overdrive and the second time you get Burn up, um, that's a base 150 move and you lose any, any weaknesses and any resistances. Um, so it basically becomes a typeless Pokemon, which is kind of good for Ambor because it's tanky. So that means since it's typeless, you cannot uh, hit it super effectively. And the fact that it's bulky, it means that it won't take a lot of damage. But then again, it doesn't get stab anymore for its fire moves, but it still keeps its stab for um, uh, fighting type. So. Uh, I was actually incorrect. It loses its uh, fire typing, so it becomes a fighting type, a mono fighting. I also like what it did with Oshawott, giving it uh, Secret Sword. Uh, Secret Sword, I think, is like base 90 or something like that, so it's not that bad. Um, sorry, I just scrolled here. Um, let me go and see once again, because I wasn't ready for that. I pretty much... Uh, those all my tasks be, uh, without thinking about it. Sacred Sword is the uh, is base ninety, yeah, with a hundred percent accuracy, and it uh, ignores the target stats changes. So it's pretty good, in my opinion, for Oshawott, which is a pretty good physical attacker. And uh, that's it. Petrad gets Bullet Seed. One more coverage maybe it helps it go through like rock types not too bad i mean it's okay pensage gets spiky shell i like that that's good uh pensier gets freaking flare blitz that's gonna be like terrible because it can have like i think it can have swords dance and the fact that it can like pretty much play gimmick with gluttony uh it can recover from uh, from a part of a recoil uh blitz Gold gets faint maybe like useful once in a million in like electric terrain uh and uh i'm deluge i don't know like super gimmicky sets simple gets venom drench cool congrats 
those two uh, terrains uh, for Sawaddle and Cottony, I like that. Uh, Cottony gets a Prankster terrain, uh, so that's pretty good. Uh, Pedalil gets Anchor, like that's going to be even more annoying to play against in doubles. Basculin gets Head Smash, I think it has Rock Head, so that's very good. Darumaka gets Extra Sensory, I highlighted that because it's good for De uh, Zenmo Darmanitan. Uh, Strike gets acid, acid Spray, okay, cool. Uh, and Power Up Punch, already had it. Yamas gets Crafty Shield, okay, cool. Uh, Trubbish gets Autotomize, that's one move that I think is not bad at all because... Um, it could lead to weakness policy autonomize uh, sets for uh, Garboder, which uh, only gets hit super effectively by Psychic and Ground. But if you can like bulk it up a little bit, um, yeah, it can. Uh, it has access to moves like I think Drain Punch. Uh, I think it has access. Well, now it has access to Gunk Shot. And uh, yeah, there's some few moves that can make it a good sweeper once it gets set up. Ducklet, congrats, it gets <laughs> it gets Aqua Jet. Not too bad. Okay, it gets priority for Swana, but Swana is still terrible. Nah, I don't think that's a move that will um get it out of a bad situation. Uh well a bad position in ladder, but still better than nothing. Uh and it gets stabbed, so it's not too bad. Deerling gets headbutt. Okay. Uh Jolting gets lunge. I would highlight it if it had better physical attack. Same thing for Galvantula. Uh, I like Shelmet getting Toxic Spikes, because Shelmet, I think, I always get confused with those. Um, does Shelmet evolve into his Cavalier, or the other way? Uh, Shelmet. Oh, Shelmet. Yeah, it's, no, it's Axelgore, so yeah, that's a, a fast, um, a fast Toxic Spike setter, so not bad. Um, and I don't think it had it already. No, it had spikes. So yeah, now it has access to spikes and toxic spikes. So not bad at all. Um, next one, Cotton Guard Buffalon. Guys, this is super good. It could become like a bulkier Tauros because Buffalon has base 110 attack. It could be higher, but still. And it got base 95 HP and base 95 defense. We got base 55 speed, which isn't great, but still, this could become extremely impossible to take down physically. Like, let's say, um, Cotton Guard gets, I think, plus three defense. Uh, team damage cock. So, let's say we got like a Buffalant, let's say the Choice Band set, whatever remove choice band uh, let's just make it like value berry for reason um and let's say we face it against something like an agron or yeah agron let's say um mega agron you you tank yeah okay so that means well, let's make it more Okay, what's a good Pokemon to have physically? Let's say Infernape, okay? Uh, you use Swords Dance. So, let me just put that here. So, here, you guys can do well. Okay. So, Buffalant at plus three. Oh, wrong button. At plus three defense doesn't even get 50% damage from a like stab close combat from infinite with iron fist okay uh iron fist doesn't boost it anyway so whatever so uh still doesn't get 50% and thunder punch let's say you switch in or whatever 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 it has iron fist thunder punch won't even do 15% fire punch would do like what? Fire punch would do less than 20. And you don't even have anything in defense and HP. So that means that um, with Cotton Guard, this becomes a freaking tank. And like, let's say you make it um, 
I don't know. You can make it like a life orb or whatever. And you're going to destroy a lot of things. Um, Ant Charge is super good with Reckless. Um, it can also, I think, have Sap Sipper. Can it? Yeah, it can have access to Sap Sipper. So let's say you place it against something like, um, I don't know. What's a good uh, grass physical attacker? Let's say Bulu. Bull against Bull. So Tapu, Bulu, Choice Banded. Let's say you go for, um, you replace this for, what's it called? Sap, Sipper. That means so it will need Super Power, Choice Banded, and Max Attack, Adamant, to do more than 50%. Okay? So if you guys aren't convinced yet that Cotton Guard Buffalon could be a thing that like will be super annoying to take down, and it's still got that base 95 special defense. So I don't know. I think Buffalon could go up one tier. Maybe. But still, uh, it's definitely gonna be better in the low tiers. Alright, let's go back to this. Dano gets Belch. Okay, cool. Uh, that's very good, maybe for like Z move. Once? I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I think it's gonna be super, super gimmicky. And the thing. Well, I just thought about this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's bring back the team builder. Uh, no, the damage cut. Uh, let's say Hydragon. Few choice scarf. Let's just replace a choice scarf with uh, poison yom Z. And then you put a uh, belch. So yeah, again, something like a fairy type, whatever, like, let's say Coco. No. Devil Fini. It's for fun. A defensive Belch Z-move. Hey, you know what? Freaking Hydreigon, Timid, destroys Tapu Fini. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't think about it this way. So maybe they know and it's evolution like no i uh, could actually use it i don't know but not too bad it's very very situational it pretty much requires the use of a berry um you know what Come on Come on it's rosalie berry yeah rosalie berry belch So yeah, you could use uh, Rosely Berry with Belch. That's not bad. You know what? Rosely Berry will make sure that you get in, uh, you survive at... Well, you take less damage from Fairy-type move. Because uh, if Finny decides to go full special attack modest, you're still dead. Most likely. Even with a Rosely Berry. <laughs> so yeah. Um... In some cases, it will save you. Like, let's say you face like a Alakazam with Dazzling Beam. Um, Alakazam will use Dazzling Beam. Yeah, it could save you from a like very situational move like Dazzling Beam. So that's not bad at all. And then uh, you can get some pretty good damage on Fairy types. All right, so let's finish this because it's been going for a while already. Um, Flood Baby gets tearful, look cool. Um, I think it lowers like two stats, I don't remember which one. Finnegan gets Psychic Terrain, so it cannot get Shadow Sneak, it cannot get Sucker Punch, it cannot get Aqua Jetted. Um, so that's very good for Break, uh, Breakson and Delphox. I might go up in usage because it's a very fast Pokemon that can set up uh, Psychic Terrain extremely fast. Skittle gets uh, Grassy Terrain, Spritzy, and uh, Aromantis gets uh, get Nasty Plot, Swirlix gets Sticky Web, and that's super good for Swirlix and Slurpuff. Um, I think it's going to be useful every now and then. Um, Litten gets Power Trip, um, which is uh, like the uh, same thing for that uh, Piplop gets, which is a Dark type move that gets uh, that pretty much does the same thing as uh, stored power but physical 
Young Goose gets the element, Elemental Fangs, so it gets Strong Jaw, that's gonna be a boost. It's still, uh, it, it's, it also gets the Elemental to Punches um, as Move Tutors, but if you want to use Strong Jaw, that's, uh, that's gonna be good. Um, Beautiful and Rebombi get Powder. I've seen Powder get used in, um, in some uh, very key situations. It works. And Sticky Webs, Rebombi is like base 120 something speed. So that's a very, very good Pokemon to lead for Sticky Webs. Wishy Washy gets Whirlpool. Okay, I thought this move was disappeared, but anyways. Dewpider gets Sticky Webs, same thing. Uh, it's gonna be like a very good support Pokemon now with like one or two attacks, like uh, Liquidation, whatever. Sandy Gas gets Curse, not too bad, and Jukumuku gets Spite, nobody cares. So that's pretty much it. Level up. Uh, Bulbasaur doesn't get Line Whip anymore. Let's all cry. Uh, Drowsy gets Wake Up Slap, so hypno <laughs> Hypnosis and Wake Up Slap combo for those two. Uh, Mr. Mime gets Pound, nobody cares. Thoros now gets Double Edge at level 63. Spotlight for Lantern, good move in uh, doubles because Spotlight makes you, well, it's pretty much like follow me. Um, they all get, uh, the Hoppet line gets Absorb. Nobody will use that ever in competitive. Um, uh, Dance Parts gets Mud Slap, cool. Armando gets Bug Bite, which could be good. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Jirachi gets Lucky Chan, uh, protects you from crits. Maybe very situational um, move. Uh, same thing for Pound here. Uh, Aqua Ring for Palkia gets a little bit of sustainability. Uh, the Venipede line gets uh, Venom Drench. I think it already had it, but now Venipede at least has it. Um, Noble Roar instead of in prison for the three dragons, the, the, the Gen 5 dragons. I, I think it's bad. I think it's okay. Um, like if you want to run more support, even though they're not made for that. Um, Omnis win for Rallet and Dartrix instead of just Decidueye, and Decidueye gets a pretty good uh, boost with three new moves, Phantom Force, Leaf Storm, and Shadow Sneak. So the fact that it now gets um, something like Tailwind and those three moves, it really has a lot more tools in its bag to uh, really be efficient. Double Kick for Litten and Torcat, that's going to be good in uh, the playthrough situation, but you never see Double Kick in competitive. Icy win for those three. Uh, pretty good. I think it's going to be uh, useful once again in the playthrough. And um, maybe it's going to be good for uh, some um, like very bulky sets that uh, want to slow down their opponents. Lurantis now gets Contrary and Superpower. And now it gets Night Slash. So that's super OP. Um, so it gets a lot more uh, tools really to be efficient. I like it. Laurent is going to be a Pokemon to uh, keep an eye on. Um, Serena now gets Punishment, which is the same thing as Murkrow gets. So that's base 60 plus 20 for every stat boost. And Power Whip, which is like a super, super powerful physical grass type move. So that's going to be used way more often than Dropkick. Um, I think. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be more often, even though it's like a little inaccurate. So not too bad. Um, yeah, I think it's going to give a good boost to Serena. And Como uh, and Hakamo get close combat. Um, close combat on those two mons is going to be super dangerous. The fact that it gets uh, the new exclusive Z move, Clangorous Skills, I think, and it boosts all its stats, uh, make, the, make close combat a little less dangerous because you come back to neutral after you use that. So maybe you're going to have like Clangorous uh, Clanging Skills. Uh, close combat, Iron Head, and I don't know, Dragon Dance, whatever. Um, I don't know what's going to be run on this, but uh, there's a lot of good options. And now gets the Elemental Punches. Uh, and Necrozma Photon Geyser, I haven't checked what it does, but it's probably like a super broken move, like Psy Strike, V Create, whatever. Um, and Necrozma, it, it, just in case you guys haven't seen this, um, Necrozma gets the freaking the big Bertha for um it's um it's uh move to the moves like single beam iron head earth power all that good stuff um oh, I'm on. uh so yeah necrozma straight going to ubers guys and maybe with ultra necrozma 
which is super ugly, by the way. Uh, but I think it's a strong competitor to Rayquaza in the AG. Um, so let's see what it does. Uh, but I don't like where this is going. I think Pokemon is trying to break their mascots way too much and uh, it's going to be uh, bad for the, comp like the high, like the, the, the Uber scene, uh, which is already pretty uh, centralized over a very few months. So that's going to be it for this uh, episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. Also, if you guys want to see more competitive reviews, competitive videos, etc., um, let me know in the comment section below. I'm looking forward to doing some more stuff than shiny hunting, which sometimes gets a little bit boring. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!